Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I thought I would do a what's for lunch video. Now this is just going to show some of the lunches that I eat on my WW Green Plan or Weight Watchers. If you're like me, lunch is one of those meals that's hard to kind of come up with ideas and I tend to make the same thing over and over again. So I'm trying to break out of that and do some different stuff. And so I thought I would just show you some of those things that I've been making because I've been really enjoying a lot of them. And I thought they might be helpful to you if you are looking for some new lunch ideas yourself. This first one is for creamy Alfredo mac and cheese. I found this recipe on the Weight Watchers website and definitely wanted to make it because I love my pasta. Plus it has cauliflower rice in it and I've been kind of trying to find new recipes and ways to use that. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love macaroni and cheese. That is just one of my childhood favorites that I still love to this day. So I'm starting this out with getting some macaroni noodles cooking. And then I've got a medium sized pan there that I sprayed a little olive oil in and I've got it on medium heat. And I'm going to take that cauliflower rice that was frozen. I let it defrost. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to just cook that in this pan for a few minutes, just until it's nice and warmed up. And I'm also going to add some garlic to this. My husband said I added too much, but I love my garlic. So I tend to go a little overboard. The recipe calls for three teaspoons. I definitely went more than that, but yeah, I'm just going to mix these together and get them warmed up. Once those noodles are cooked, I'm going to go ahead and drain them and then I'm going to just set them aside. And I should say those are just regular noodles. I normally like to use whole wheat, but those I bought when the whole pandemic started and I couldn't find anything but that. So that's why I'm using those. If you use whole wheat, it might actually be a little bit lower point wise. So I've got that cauliflower rice and garlic all nice and heated up. And so now I'm going to stick it in my blender here. If you don't have a blender, you could use a food processor or vice versa. Either one would work. Now I'm going to take some of this skim evaporated milk. Actually, I'm going to use a whole can. So I'm going to dump that in there. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt and some fresh ground pepper. And then I'm going to just blend this up real well. Once I've got that nice and blended, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Kraft is all I have, so that's what I'm using. Then I'm going to blend that up. Once I've got that all nice and blended together, I'm going to pour it in with my pasta and then I'm going to just stir this up real well. And that is what it looks like. Nice and creamy. And here is my lunch. So that right there is a fourth of what I made on the Weight Watchers website. They had it at six servings. I changed it to four because I didn't think the serving size was big enough at six, but if you do six, it's seven points and four is 10 points. I also had some mandarins there that were zero points, some cucumbers, which were also zero points. And then I had one of those sparkling ice drinks and that is zero points. I ended up really liking that macaroni and cheese with the cauliflower rice. It with the evaporated milk and the Parmesan cheese just made a really yummy, creamy sauce. And I don't know if you can really tell by looking at it, but it was, it was very creamy and just really good. It hit the spot as far as my macaroni and cheese craving went without being super unhealthy. So this is something that I will definitely make again. It was a very satisfying 10 point lunch. Next up are what I'm going to call chicken and cheese sandwich pockets. Now these start out using the two ingredient pizza dough that I just love. I have been trying different ways of using this and this is one of them. This dough is so easy to make. It's really, really good. And like I said, it's just versatile. You can do a whole lot of different things with it. So I'm going to start out 
with my dough and I'm gonna cut it into quarters. Now I'm gonna take each one of those quarters and I'm gonna just roll it out into kind of a circular rectangle. They don't have to be perfect. Mine definitely never are. But you want them to look just something kind of like this. Now I'm gonna take one of these craft singles. This was the only sliced cheese I had on hand, so that's why I'm using them. But they're only two points a piece, which I didn't think was too bad. And they taste pretty good in these. So I'm gonna take one of those and I'm gonna lay it on here. Next, I'm gonna take some of this rotisserie seasoned chicken breast, lunch meat, and I'm gonna put two pieces of that on here. And those are about a point a piece, so I've got two points worth of chicken on here now. Next, I'm gonna put some of this turkey pepperoni. I get this stuff at Aldi and I really, really like it. It's so good. And it is only two points for 16 pieces. So I'm gonna put just four pieces on this just for a little extra flavor. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna fold it over, kind of push down the edges a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm going to kind of just push it down with that too, to sort of close it off. And that is it. I've got a little hole there, but oh well. And so now I'm gonna just put this on a cookie sheet. I should have sprayed that. It works a whole lot better if you do. I didn't spray the cookie sheet with a cooking spray because it was nonstick and I thought that would work. It did not. They got a little bit stuck to the pan, so I would definitely recommend using cooking spray. So here I've got an egg that I've beaten up and I'm just putting a little bit of an egg wash on the tops of these. And now I'm gonna bake these at 375 for just about 15 minutes. While that's baking, I am putting the rest of my lunch together and that starts with one of these Light and Fit Vanilla Greek Yogurts. I really, really love these. Actually, so does my husband. We get them at Sam's Club. I'm sure you can get them anywhere, but they come in a variety pack at Sam's Club. They're good all by themselves, but we also like to eat them with frozen berries, which is what I'm gonna be doing here. But the yogurts are just two points a piece. So now that I've got that in a bowl, I'm gonna take some of this triple berry blend. We also get at Sam's Club. Love these, these are so good. I used to make smoothies all the time. I don't do that anymore, hardly. Um, but we do mainly just eat these with Greek yogurt. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put some of these in with my Greek yogurt and it's gonna be a nice little side to my sandwich for just two points. And here's what those sandwiches look like when they're done. Now the dough on these is just about five points and with everything else that I put on that, it is nine points for one of those, which I didn't think was too bad. And then like I said, there's my berries and yogurt, which is two points. I am having a little water there in my hydro flask. And so my overall total for my lunch was 11 points. I tried to get a shot of what they look like inside so you could see that, but it didn't work real well, as you can see. But yeah, these are really good. You can put lots of different things in there other than what I did, but what I used was a pretty good combination and I've made these a couple times since. Next up, I'm gonna be using some of these English muffins that I got. Now these are three points for the two of them. And that's not the best for English muffins. I think you can get ones that are lower than that. I'm also gonna be using some of this PB Fit, and that is also not as low as the PB Fit 2, I believe, but that's what I have on hand, so that's what I'm using. So I made some of that up. It is two points for two tablespoons, which is what I've got there. To be totally honest, this PB Fit is not my favorite, but it does taste pretty good when you put it with banana and on these English muffins. So that makes it taste a whole lot better than some other ways that I've had it anyway. So I do enjoy it like this. I've heard the chocolate PB Fit is really good, so I'll have to try that one. Uh, so I'm gonna just put this on here, spread it out, and I did toast those English muffins first. And I'm gonna take this banana, and I'm gonna just slice it up on the two of these to add a little bit of sweetness to this instead of using something like jam, which is what I would typically use, pre-Weight Watchers, that is. And I used almost all this banana, but I had a little bit left. 
and I gave that to my husband who was more than willing to take it. <laughs> okay, and here I have some of those Popcorners Flex chips. We absolutely love these. There's 10 grams of protein per serving. The serving size is actually a decent size too, as far as I'm concerned. So we really love these. We get these at Sam's Club. I haven't seen them elsewhere, but I'm sure they are other places. So I'm just weighing these out because I pretty much weigh everything like this just to make sure I am not going over. So that is 28 grams of chips and that is just two points. Next, I'm gonna weigh out a serving of this Members Mark Cottage Cheese. I love this stuff. I buy this every single time I go to Sam's Club. It is just my favorite. And I always say it's not the best Weight Watcher points. It's three points for a half cup or 105 grams. And you can definitely get a whole lot lower when it comes to cottage cheese, but I just don't like other cottage cheese. I have tried several, several different kinds and I just don't like it. So I think it's worth the little extra points. It's only like a point or so extra, I think for this compared to like 2%. And I cannot stand the fat-free cottage cheese. So I just go with this stuff, three points for that. And it's definitely worth it for me. I also had some strawberries and grapes. I usually have fruit with almost all my meals. And then I had one of these ice drinks, classic lemonade. That was really yummy. And here's my lunch all together. Now those peanut butter and banana English muffins were five points total. The chips were two points. And then the fresh fruit was zero points because it's fruit. And then three points for the cottage cheese, zero points for the sparkling ice for a total of 10 points for this lunch. I hope this maybe gave you guys some ideas for lunches for yourself. If you wanna see more of these, just let me know and I will definitely do them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.